do with glasses off. Y'all don't know what's going on with this twist. Like, that's the only one on my whole head. So, I'm gonna... But, what's up, guys? It's me, JWB. Welcome back to my channel. So, today is Sunday, but I ended the vlog from last week. And I'm starting it for today. And we're just gonna continue the rest of the vlog for the rest of the week for this week's vlog. But, I just wanted to get on here and really quick and say, last week, I was showing you guys I was packing up my stuff. So, basically, um, about... A month ago now just about like maybe three weeks ago my grandma texted me and my sister and said that we have until June 1st well she didn't say that we had until June 1st until move out but she said June 1st would be like one year since the both of us has been here but I've been here since um like the beginning of May so beginning of May 2022 but anyways we we pretty much just took that as like we have until June 1st to move out so I'm packing up all my stuff um I already have some places in mind that I would like to go I'm not gonna disclose too much I'll tell y'all in a couple weeks you know when one door closes another one opens but my mom already told me and I already knew I was just waiting for my grandma to like say something about it and she did now we're on to the next chapter of our life. It's really gonna be me and Bob. You know, Bob is my son, Bob's my baby. I'm gonna tip up a box and I'm gonna get my stuff out the bathroom and I'm gonna pack up my closet. I got all my hair stuff in my mugs. I like my first aid kit and stuff, whatever, packed up in this box. I'm going to write what is in here. And then what's going in here is like my closet stuff. I guess I'll write fragile on it because it's going to mainly be like photos. Fragile is F R. I spelled it on that box F R A G I A L. And then on this one, I spelled it F-R-A-G-I-L-E. I do not know how to spell that word. I also have um, a couple mugs right here that I'm going to give to my mom. Okay guys, so I'm done with this box. Like I said, this is just all the stuff that was at the top of my closet that's packed up in there. Um, I was gonna try and fit the hangers in that box, but the hangers need their own box. Matter of fact, I might even put the hangers in their own, um, like in a bag, cause I have hefty bags down here. So I might just get all these hangers and then put them in there. And then I have shoes that are already in their own boxes. I might just tape those shut and then leave them to the side. And then all these bags, whatever clothes can't fit in the boxes, I'm gonna stick them in the bags. For the most part, I'm I'm done. Okay guys, um, today is Monday. I went in the garage and I got this box. And this is all of my art stuff that was in it. I got these little flat canvases. I'm considering keeping these because, you know, I don't really like working with flat canvases. So this is all the stuff that I'm keeping except for this. Let me take these canvases. Oh, these are also my sister's prints of her beginning artwork. Oh, I'll see y'all later. <laughs> okay, guys. So I just got off of work. The plan today was to get my nails done. So that's out of the picture. But I'm already dressed and ready to go for the day. Being 21 is like, it's okay, I guess. But it's really more so of like the mental change. Like I woke up this morning and everything was like different. Like last night, everything was different. But like today, everything was like different. You know, like the clothes I got on, I really feel like I shouldn't be wearing them because I'm 21. But y'all know my mental age is 25. So it's... It's a lot, I guess. 
Okay, guys. So another place that was on my list. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Ready? Super Target. Super Target. Now look, I discovered this place while I was, you know, doing my stuff that I be doing on the weekends, and I had drove past it, and I was like, "There's the Super Target," and I was like, "I gotta go here." I just drove past this place like about last week two weeks ago and bitch i'm so i am so excited to go in here i'm such a target girl i'm such a target girl ah! yeah 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 i kind of wish i would have brought my tripod but at the time i wasn't thinking about it so we've had a bring this because this target is kind of huge so yeah but all i gotta say is that everything's bigger in sexes <laughs> these doors are huge god i have not seen a target this big since i was in memphis but i think it's bigger than the one that's in memphis so i'm excited I would just like to say that this Target was actually way smaller than the one that was in Memphis. Excited. Guys, I like don't know where to go first. There's flowers and plants right here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give myself some flowers. I'm gonna figure out which one's like, what the hell? There's white roses. I'm getting these for myself. I'm getting these for myself. Like, y'all can't tell me these are you. You guys, I am such a big ass little kid right now. Like, holy fuck. And it's also about the mindset. Like, what kind of person are you? Because the only people that come to Target are people that have, like, shit to do. They sell pancake mix. It's only $2 for the big ass pack of pancake mix. It's me contemplating getting it. Oh I'm done. That target was big, but it could have been bigger oh, but these flowers are so cute this target is in goodyear it's the furthest one in goodyear so if you guys live in arizona you guys search up super target it's in goodyear arizona and it's the last one at the bottom of the map let me be exact i seen a black chevy malibu 20 t with black chrome lettering this shit was so fucking fire. It's like two cars down for me. That, sh that shit is so motherfucking fire. Okay, guys. So, I'm here at the DMV right now. Um, I just signed in. I don't know if I should have sat in there. I'm 21 today. Yeah, I look so cute. You know what's missing? The future person I'm going to marry. We're going to be in this car right here. We're going to be doing YouTube together. We're gonna be like, what's up, guys? It's Blase Blase. Back at it again with another video. And you guys are gonna love it. And the content is gonna be amazing. Because you know what's better than one? Two. Is this picture fun? Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you this, it looks better than my original driver's license. Yeah, it looks cute. <laughs> It's official. I am now licensed. Oops. <laughs> I didn't know my middle finger was on it. Okay, it's official. I am now licensed. What? Yeah, if y'all see my other driver's license photo, you will be like, this shit is an upgrade, 100%. Okay, guys, so I'm back home now. But I didn't show you guys my room. So as you can see, I took my tapestry and my pictures off my wall. 
and I, they're actually in a box right now and they're all hung they're all put away and the boxes taped up i'm gonna take these the stuff off the wall not yet i'm gonna take it off and i'm just gonna throw all that stuff away but i finished packing up the rest of the stuff on my desk that i don't need because my paint is gonna go with the rest of my paint and stuff so this big old picture i didn't mean to take this picture off the wall but i ended up taking off my tapestry and the pictures are on my wall now we are two four six we're six boxes deep again i think we're gonna have a total of nine boxes we got my hair stuff we got my stuff on my desk this is the photos and underneath it is the rest of the stuff that i was like over there by my desk and then we got my shoes and we got my bottoms y'all know my pictures this little contraption right here is just me pouring the laundry detergent into the other laundry detergent <laughs> look i know you guys are probably mad at me like stop using the front camera blah 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 but listen I just updated my phone to iOS 16.4, so the print camera is looking pretty good. But we gotta open this birthday card that my sister got me. That says it's from Bob. It was from my sister. Did you say I want you to know? Oh, it's where did she find this card at? I've always loved like super crazy cards like this. Where do you find a card like this at? Where do you find something like this at? Now, if y'all ever say there wasn't a birthday card big enough for everybody to sign it. You got the front and the back. Okay, it says, I just want you to know, even though you allow the squirrel outside to live and you never once smelled my butt rude, <laughs> And you put my poop in bags. Disturbing. <laughs> and you keep my treats where I can't eat them. And you do not always take me with you when you leave. You are still my human. And I love you even more than my ball. Happy whatever today is. <laughs> I'm like smiling. But you, you, guys, you guys can't really tell. But like I'm like getting crying. Last year, my mom got Bob for me. I don't think I ever told you guys that. My mom got Bob for me last year after her birthday. Because she had picked me up. And we had seen dogs on the side of the road. And I was like, oh. Because I was finna buy one of those dogs. But then I was like, I would buy one of these dogs. But if it was a pug. And then she dropped me off at home. And on her way home, she seen pugs. And she literally pulls over. And I was like, if there is a boy pug, I want it. And he was the last one. Y'all, oh, this is so cute. Last year, I didn't spend my birthday with anybody. Like, my dad came over last year and I was with the movies. I went to the movies with him and we watched the movie. Then he dropped me off. And then I was home all by myself. I was alone. And now I'm like, hey, I'm with my family now. I'm happy. I just did this, the sacral chakra. So that's gonna be up and posted again. By the time these videos, this video comes out, I should already have this posted on my Instagram, or it should be coming out either the week before or it's the week of this video being dropped. So y'all make sure y'all follow me on my social media so you guys can stay up to date. Like, come on now, I know you guys need to be working on it. This is my plate. My grandma made wings, hot wings, barbecue wings. She made me a turkey leg, greens, mashed potatoes and gravy. And then she made some macaroni. And then boom. Lemon cake cupcakes, huh? Okay, guys. So I'm here at Cesar Chavez Park. And I brought Bob to the dog park. And there's like a bunch of huskies in here. There's two sections where there's one with like smaller dogs and there's one with bigger dogs. Y'all just got off work and I was finna head to the gym i'm hungry and i don't have my headphones if i had my headphones right now i'd, I'd go straight to the gym but i don't y'all see 
This shit smells so good. Whoa. That's a first I'm saying that. But it does though. I'm just realizing it though, but like my coworker, he, he's in his car too. He was parked right next to me. I wonder if he was just looking at me just now because it looked it looked like I'd be talking to myself. But like if you see me grab my phone, then it's like it's a different story. But okay. I really don't be tripping if people think I'm having a conversation with myself because Loki though, I am. But I'm talking to y'all. I'm finna go home right now. I'ma eat and then I'ma go to the gym later. Today's Wednesday. I right, I'ma do four sets of ten. I didn't go to the gym last week. I'm here at the gym. And me, oh my, me, oh my. It has been a minute since I've been here. It's been like a week and a day. I would say though, like seeing myself in gym clothes after a week. Feels pretty good. Oh, my arms look great. Yeah, I'm hoping that this will give me some more energy. Because when you start going to the gym and you make it consistent, it's like you become addicted with the way your body is looking and you like the results. It's also for the mental standpoint, that part too. I am tired as shit though, but we found it. Get this nasty ass workout in. Okay guys, I left the gym. I know I recorded like a little bit of me doing the workout, but like that's that's all y'all gonna get. Um, I didn't finish though. I think I still had a couple more things to do, like I needed to do rounded back extensions. It's 82 degrees outside. Like in Arizona, like it was just 99 degrees yesterday. Literally it was just 99 degrees yesterday. And today it's 82. So, you know, we got that leftover. We got that leftover heat over here. Oops, I almost turned in the wrong way. And I found out that there was leftover gas glass inside the door right here. I'm gonna show y'all. And y'all, there's a fucking nail in there. That's somebody toenail that's in there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but like I was saying, it was hot in the gym. Like how it feels outside is how it was feeling in the gym. And I'm not here for it. So like, somebody's toenail, glass, and like some change. Y'all, I do not know why I do this, but every time it's finna be like summer, I always end up getting rid of my summer clothes. And then it's like, I have to buy summer clothes now because it's hot as shit. And all I have is like long sleeves. And also during the winter, I'll be getting rid of my hoodies and shit too. Like, oh my God. Okay, it looks so cute. It's Auntie Baby. We all go go run. Uh, ready? Her run. Uh, Say hi, Nina. This place started at eight. The doors open at six. The place started at six thirty. It is eight thirty. 
they get for the Jamaican flag. This Jamaican, right? This, it is currently 8.40. It's finally over. By the time we get home, it's gonna be 9 o'clock. Mom. You wanna say hi, Mom? Hi, Mom. <laughs> She has a dance performance that's coming up too. I'm pretty sure her dance is gonna be like at the end of April. She's doing this. The Heights. Two hour movie, bro. I'm not a vlogger, bro. But look at my stance. Look at my stance, bro. Oh, I'm recording you. Okay guys, so just out of work. And we're about to go to the gym. I'm hungry. I'm tired. Yesterday, I really had like a realization and the like releasing, and I'm still going through the after effects of all of it. So it's like hungry because of stress eating. I'm sore because of the gym yesterday because y'all know I haven't been in a week. Really just got this shit going on. I really got this shit going on right now. Like I'm not, I'm not like tired, but I've been eating a lot of processed food. You know, I had hot dogs on Easter that I've been really been eating like hot dogs for the last couple days. And then yesterday, my birthday, my grandma made me food. I didn't like the food, but I still ate it because you know it's food. So it's like I need to get back cooking for myself. So I'm gonna try to figure out something that I want to make. Well, I'm gonna finish packing up my room. But to the gym I go, and I will see y'all later. Okay guys, it's time to taste it. I was contemplating if I should have warmed it up or not. I don't even know how these oats taste. I definitely didn't think that it would taste better if it was cold. Got some milk in it. Y'all just nasty. So I'm gonna salvage the strawberries. But I'm not gonna lie though, like, maybe I needed to put salt in it. I don't know. It said something about salt, but we gonna figure it out. I was gonna put the light on, but I kind of just feel like still sitting up here for a minute because it's like a good angle. I never really talked about it in mine and Nicole's friendship. I guess things were like always one-sided, you know? It was always her coming in my help you know to help me with something and then over time it's just like our friendship just like ceased and it was really more so like we were just in each other's lives or more so she was just in my life to like help me with my darkest times that I had going on and it was like our friendship never continued to grow it just stayed stagnant but in high school, I had started to say we should have never stayed friends for as long as we did. Just because, like, at the time, I was really into zodiac signs and stuff. And it was always, like, Virgo and Aries, they weren't compatible for being friends. But then when we moved into our apartment, like, a couple months into us living in our apartment, I actually found out that my rising sign is a Virgo. But I'm an Aries and her rising sign is a Gemini. But she's a Virgo. And then I was like, well, I guess that makes sense on why we stayed friends as long as we did. But I always kept on saying, like, we should have never stayed friends for as long as we did. At, like in high school at first, I really didn't understand why I kept on saying it. Like, we shouldn't have been friends, like, as long as we did. Or I was like, I don't understand, like, how we're still friends. But it wasn't like 
me saying it as a bad thing it was more so me saying it like i was amazed like it was unbelievable like we had broken a record or something i still don't know exactly what i did to hurt nicole i know that i did some things but the things that i did more like directed towards her but as she took it some type of way you know like i already said like i apologize for that multiple times like we lived together for a year so damn near every day i apologize for whatever i thought i did wrong to hurt her i always apologize for it and i try to make up for it but she just got to the point where she didn't even want to be around me anymore or if you haven't check it out um my welcome to the healing process series but I didn't add the clips in there, but there was times, and I did catch it on camera. I don't have the clips anymore, but I did catch it on camera. There is times where I disassociated, like during that time period, like I disassociated so much that my memory is like so foggy. But like I disassociated a lot of times and I had caught it on camera. And I was just sitting there staring at the camera and it was like, I, it wasn't even me. And come to find out, I was actually fighting my inner demons because everybody has demons, you know, are the bad, the worst parts of ourselves. And those demons literally came out to the point where it was like I was possessed. And it was like some other things going on in our apartment. Like, I think I was actually possessed at some times. But I know that that was a big part um around the times of me disassociating when nicole stopped wanting to be around me because i'm sure some things were said that weren't meant and i know i probably did something that i didn't want to do but it was out of my control for me to do like again if i still had the clip i would show you guys like how bad this my disassociating was like i would be chilling and then next thing you know, it was like a whole personality switch that had happened. And it was like my voice would change and everything. My eyes would look different. And it was, it was scary to watch because it was like, that's not even me. And I was like, yeah, I'm sure she was scared. Um, just staying at the apartment with me. When that was going on, I probably would have been shitting bricks <laughs> if she was disassociating like that. And it was, it was crazy. But um, what I was really trying to say is that even though there's things that I've done to like hurt my and Nicole's friendship from potentially ever probably having us be friends again, um, you know, there's things that she did too that i never talked about that i am actually am ready to talk about she was an open book especially with our friendship even though i was always like hey can we keep it between us you know it was like nothing bad but it was like you can't fix problems if everybody's in our business kind of thing so i was always say like if we ever have like conflict i was like don't tell nobody like what's going on because i don't want nobody to look at me bad but then she would constantly go and tell whoever like what was going on and i'm like we how are we supposed to fix something if you have other people's opinions and if you guys don't know like as people if you're not in the process of healing and becoming your higher self you are very affected by other people's opinions and what they think. And you can't even ever like think straight or use your own thought or have your own common sense. So it was just like, I know she probably had her own stuff going on, but it was like, she was very influenced by what other people would say. Not saying that she would always, you know, do stuff that, somebody would be saying but it was just like I don't know when it came to certain things like say if I did something on accident 
I she she's the kind of person or she she was the kind of person I don't know who she is now like y'all know it's been a year it's been a year since I've even talked to her so um she was the kind of person that would do stuff to get you back you know if I did something on accident I didn't mean to hurt her feelings kind of thing and I apologize for it I thought we'd be cool she would be premeditating stuff and trying to get me back and make me feel the way I made her feel. And in the process of her doing that, like it made it made a lot of parts of our friendship worse because it's just like one, how can you be around me having me think that our friendship is getting better? But you're sitting here plotting on how to make me feel how you felt. Like, I get it. You know, I hurt you. You want to hurt me back. But it's just, she did that so many times. It wasn't until recently, like a couple months ago, when I figured out that she actually did that. You know, just sitting and think about it. And it was like, wow, like, that's crazy. And to me, it's like, you can't talk, but you can sit and kind of plot on my downfall in a way. Whenever I had something going on, it was like, it was never supported. Like, y'all know I'm very supportive. I cheer people on. If you can't tell by the, the energy in the vlogs, like, I'm a very supportive person. Like, I always want people to do their best. And even though she went everywhere with me all the time, like, I would always invite her places and she would come. It was like, it was never reciprocated with me, I guess. So when I say like me achieving my goals and it was like, I really wish she was um, supportive in a way when we were friends. Again, I don't know who, who she is now. She's probably a completely different person from when we were friends. But um, she never really supported me. Like she would just sit and watch me, I guess, achieve my goals and do stuff. And just be there in the process. It was like she never like cheered me on. Told me to keep going. Keep doing better. Say if I had an art show. She wouldn't come. If I had something like really important for my event. Like she wouldn't come to it. You know it's like you always want that one person with you. But then. That one person that you want to come doesn't show up. That was really an eye opener and it's like she didn't even tell me if she actually was like wanting to come or she was trying to come. She would just either drop me off to the event and then not say anything and then wouldn't pick me up or it was just like I'd have to find my ride back. This was really only like the last couple months of our friendship. In the end of any relationship is when people really start showing themselves more a really big one for me though would be the fact that if i ever had an idea she would take that idea and do it with someone else and she wouldn't bother to invite me and she would also never invite me anywhere everybody was saying it was a way that i was talking to her again i don't really know how i was talking to her that part of our relationship is like foggy but it's not foggy to me i don't really know exactly like what i was saying that was towards the first few months of our friendship ending but i really just wanted to say that with y'all i just wanted to bring that up because i i've really been like fighting myself I guess over it trying not to really think about it but it's like I miss the goal being in my life like I miss her as a friend like the good times were good but the bad times were fucking terrible I I, I, I miss Nicole and this is the first time like I'm saying this like out loud like I miss her but then it's also all the stuff that I was just talking about. It's like, we're better not together, you know? 
we, we still got to grow into new. Like I said, I don't even know if she would even consider being my friend again after the stuff that I did to her. But considering the stuff that she did to me too, it's like, I don't, like the stuff that she did, I can forgive her for only because I wasn't really affected by it. Because like I said, like I wasn't really thinking about it like that. But in the friendship, I was always the bigger person. I was always the one to apologize, the one to come and speak first. I really put it into her hands like if she wants to be my friend again that like that's her decision i probably just need some more time to just sit and be you know by myself because the thought of me seeing nicole again even if it's from a distance i don't know why but it's like triggering in my head it's like the thought of seeing her makes me feel like I'm gonna get triggered back into the dark place that I was in. But I know that I'm stronger than that. I guess y'all will see in a future vlog if we ever become friends again. Thank y'all for sitting and listening to me vent. All right guys, so I just got out the gym and what's today, today's Friday, I finished I did my full body, which took me about 30 minutes to do. And then for like the last, for the last hour, I did the last thing for my legs and I did my whole arm workout. I did full body and arms today. I never told you guys how many sets that I was doing. All week I've been doing, I know I said I was gonna do four sets of 10, but you guys, I haven't done four sets of anything in like the last month or two. So what I decided to start doing is three sets. The first set is of 10. The second set is um, six. And the last set was a four. So I went 10, six, and four for all my sets that I was doing. Well, that was pretty good because I was able to have enough energy at the end of my set that I would be doing to start my other set for my other things that I would be doing. But you already know it's Friday. I have been asleep all day since I came back from the gym. I ate and then I went to sleep. Now we gotta be booked to visit. Y'all, oh my god. I was supposed to wake up by 6 o'clock. I have no idea why my alarm didn't go off. I set an alarm for 6 and 7 and it did not go off. I'm about to check it. But I literally just woke up because we supposed to be going to the lake. I wanted to wake up at 6 o'clock, make me some pancakes, and then, like, leave. But they didn't pack nothing. And I told little Gary last night to pack stuff, and they didn't. Bruh. And my mom's probably going to be like, no, we can't go. Because she'd be talking about, like, we got to leave early go to the lake. But then it's like. Okay, guys. So I packed up the trunk. Little Gary helped a tad bit. But I got my strawberries and blueberries in here as a little snack to go. Guys, anytime before you leave, always go over a checklist. Charger. No. Do you want to bring it? No. Okay. Phone. Yeah. Towel. Yeah. Shoes. Yeah. What else? I would say money, but you don't necessarily need to bring money. Okay, that's too slow for me to go over. Water, snacks, food. Yeah. Snacks, considers food, phone, charger. I think you got everything, unless there was something else that you wanted to bring, because Quran's being a rider gun. It's already in the bag. Oh, that's what I want. Okay, then go get it. No, I don't want to kill it. Then put it in the trunk. I don't want to kill it. Okay, guys, so we're here at the lake, but we're at the wrong part, so we're going to come back here another time, but right now we're in a little convenience store. I feel like I could work here because I worked at the water park for like four years. I don't know, it has potential, but I'm not going to do that, though. I'm gonna grab me. Okay, so look, they have these boats for rental that you can do, and then they have all this stuff. And they have canoes for rental. Then over here, they have this obstacle course. So maybe we can come back on Memorial Day. Sorry. Memorial Day. Yeah, coming up. I should have brought my tripod. Now that I think about it. But look at them, guys. That's so exciting. But what I was trying to do is show the people that were canoeing. I think my camera was dirty or something. So this is a little obstacle course. It looks small on camera, but this thing is actually big because 
I think you start right here and then you just go across the whole thing. Got you, Y'all, we made it to the lake. That's my gun. We're sitting and chilling for a minute. No! So we're sitting and chilling for a minute. He's about to fill up the water gun. Yes. And daddy and love you, son. I'm about to get it. He might just go somewhere. All right, let's see where it goes. Look at those stairs, Pacho. Oh, gosh. Solid in the air, like this one. Dang it! Ah! I got an idea. Oh, I God. didn't spin it fast. Listen, once I find the perfect rod, I can't. Oh, I'm getting wild. He gets in the water and he complains he's cold, but then he stays in the water, which doesn't make any sense. But this is our setup. Gary's chair, Karan's chair is right there because he has he didn't move it yet. My chair, my mom's chair. Mm -hmm. No way, no. Bro, Gary, show me the rocks. The rocks, these are all flat. Don't hit Karan, please. Please. Uh oh. Uh oh. Gary could be like a professional at this. I'm not, Karan. Look at that. Look at all those urchins. Look, you don't see them on your butt? They're black. You can't see it? No! He has a bunch of cactuses like on his butt. You should take them off! Y'all, he just came with them. I think they're just going to suck your blood. Bro, there's some on your legs, too. On the on your short legs. But you got, like... Inside your thighs. Show me. Take your shorts off, because I know you got some trousers on underneath there. You don't feel them? Show me. Y'all are all in on that? And on what? And on what? Just roll the way for Show me. Show me the things. <laughs> Cry, turn around. No, I feel the bolts. Why don't you sit up straight then? There's two. There's more than that. Oh, you please get them. There's 50. He's not joking. He's like 55. Cry, turn around. Let me see. <laughs> Has them on you the whole time. <laughs> Let me around. see. Let me see how many more. <laughs> yeah, there's three more. Crazy how the muscle moves side to side. It's those bogeys. We're out here skipping rocks. Yeah, Gary just. I can skip this one. Gary just got a really good one. He had like a nice one flat one rock. He rock. had like Watch. ten bounces in the water. You can't, actually you, skipped. you can't throw big rocks in the water. It actually skipped them. All right, I'm about, to, I'm about to throw mine. Watch. Play a three. Maybe I'll fly. All right, bam. Right here. Watch. Three. Two, Gary's one. skips are good. Okay, guys. I'm back home. Um, right now, I'm taking down my hair. But if you guys did enjoy it, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my description box below to follow me on all my social media. Um, don't forget to check out my Welcome to the Healing Process series because I, that will give you more in context of what I was talking about earlier in the vlog about the whole situation with Nicole. Don't forget to check out my clothing brand and get your stitch wear and start recreating your future and not just the future of yours, but the future of everyone else around you. And I will see you guys all in my next one.